Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, See you again with Bu uh, Enda This semester we learn about the human computer interaction and actually for the first meeting that Bu uh, Enda signed to all of you there is uh, about introduction uh, how to know about human computer interaction in the future and uh, after we see the video we learn uh, a lot about about the how the interaction between the human and the computer in the future and for this meeting for the second meeting we end up have uh, three chapter that for you this is the human the computer and the interaction actually uh, we must know the definition and also uh, the uh, how we know about it and for the first chapter uh, we learn about the human and uh, for the human what we can see uh, with uh, the human perceive okay uh, and what is the human uh, wait. Okay. what is the human that we must know to to what is to to learn about what is the characteristic of the human with the uh, interaction to the computer the first one is about the information uh, input and output what is that that uh, could be the visual auditory haptic and also movement uh, we will know detail in in the ne the next slide and the second is about the information storage in the memory uh, okay this is the second is in the information stored in the memory that could be sensory uh, and we know also what is the short-term memory and long-term memory. Next, as for information process and apply the uh, reasoning problem solving in skill and also the error. And the uh, fourth is the emotion influence human capabilities. And also each person is different. It's... Uh, to know how what is the, the behavior of the human in the different person uh, include in the population right uh, and for the next uh, we can learn about information input and output the first stage is uh, vision what is vision? Actually, the human uh, need the vision to make uh, the information to get the input information. Uh, like we have an eye, our eyes, and for this uh, our vision, we need physical reception and also processing and interpretation of stimulus what is the stimulus that we need for the vision is uh, like we see something we need the the stimulus is uh, how to catch the picture and the processing processing and interpretation is uh, like we process it uh, the picture on our uh, brain so how uh, to interpreting the signal of, of vision uh, that uh, could be like and um, we can uh, what is we can interpret it uh, with the size and depth 
maybe uh, in computer we can using it uh, like uh, resolution and also brightness color uh, contact is used to resolve ambiguity uh, because this is we are the human we have a, like uh, artificial intelligence in our brain and all oh, and we can we can what is we can make a decision uh, what is what is what what this that we see on the context uh, also optical illusion sometimes cure in our interpreting signal on the vision maybe you can you can see uh to this uh, picture we know actually this rectangle this first and the second is look like it's different because the upside is bigger than the down down side and but it's actually this is the same size it's like optical illusion and also for the second uh, picture we know this is like uh, an arrow is uh, have the same length but because the our optical illusion that uh, look like is the first one is lengthier than the second one okay and for the next is of uh, the human capability or uh, after vision is we can make a reading reading something or uh, like uh, it's not or uh, reading text or something but uh, we can what is we can know about the knowledge like that so we are reading as a uh, knowledge in here okay and the third is hearing hearing something maybe the computer will, will synchronize what is a hearing for for the computer it's different with hearing for the human for the human uh, we we can uh, what is uh, like have a uh, input out the information for hearing that could be like a sound and it's uh, depend on the environment it's depend on the environment that it could be a distant direction and also an object and for the sound maybe we we can interpret it for the pitch loudness and also timbre Okay, and uh, next we must know that human can hear only in such frequencies for the sound because uh, it is as a uh, the human what is mm, human sonic that we can we can say that like that and for the auditory system human have the filter what is auto filters uh, we can we can recognize this is uh, what is this is our friends uh, speech from ever uh, the background noise uh, that we have so we have the auto filter in here okay and the next sensor is a uh, touch maybe because uh, this is our skin that we can uh, what is we can uh, have more sensitive with the heat or pain or something and also the next uh, information input output is a movement uh, like uh, we can have the reaction time and movement time like uh, how we wear with the uh, uh, how we make the action from the reaction so we need the movement okay 
and for the second that human have about information is how the human store the information and we know it uh, will be uh, stored in the memory and for the um, memory we have the short term memory and also the long term memory the short term memory uh, and we have the sensory memories and we take the attention to the something uh, we will uh, what is stored our our what is our thinking on the step to some the memory but if we have the rehearsal to learn something uh, to repeat something so we will uh, store them on the long term memory and maybe on the computer we will interpret it as uh, like uh, this or the memory on our computer okay and maybe we we you you can see the, the example that uh, we have the short term memory but sometime if we learn uh repeatedly or maybe win uh what is we help with the some what is procedure it will help us to make the short term memory and to the long term memory so you know it's maybe this uh we better to remember the second line then the first line and that's uh we know that is more than easier than this one okay and for the next says uh, about long term memory and we can know that's uh, like a neural on our long term memory to learn something and we can adapt it on the artificial intelligence on the computer and also if we make the model of frames that we use on programming actually we we are using on on uh, structure on programming okay uh, what is the uh, drawback of the long-term memory uh, sometimes we it will be decay or we are forgetting something if the our memory is uh, like information is lost gradually but very slowly but it still uh, the drawback of the long-term memory on uh, long-term memory we can also learn something by the recall and recognition okay that is the about the information for the memory how to store the memory and after that how to proceed and process it and uh, apply it of the information that using that could be using reasoning and problem solving okay and actually for uh, do something for reasoning and problem solving we uh, still make a slip or mistakes actually this is uh, our uh, what is in this information that could be slips or mistakes and the next uh, what is the what we know about the human is the emotion the emotion is actually actually that's a clearly info about cognitive and physical response to stimuli it's uh, cannot uh, separate from the human that is for our emotion so the emotion influence human capabilities okay and uh, for the human 
each person is different. What is this? Because uh, we must know to the human characteristic that the individual have the difference uh, long term memory and also short term memory also changing. So if we will design uh, some interface of interaction with human and computer will design uh, we may, must make the what design decision must uh, what is considered to the user population and also individual difference yes uh, i think that is our first chapter and see you thank you